Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today is the second day of fasting and so welcome to the second episode of the series Revive Your Faith in which we will try to reconnect with the Almighty Creator and revitalize our Iman. So for the first habit that I thought is the most important that we need to focus on the most is prayer. The five daily prayers. We all need to understand that prayer is one of the most important part of our Iman. Not just one, not just two, but five daily prayers. We all know of the hadith that Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said that the difference between belief and disbelief is prayer. So just this one hadith is enough for us to understand the importance that how prayer is basically the foundation of our Iman. If we don't pray, then as Prophet peace be upon him said, that you are basically near disbelief. Yeah, you uh, your core belief is that yes, Allah is one and Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is the last messenger. But still, prayer is very important as we all know that the first question on the day of judgment would be about prayer. So even if I don't talk about anything else, just this hadith would be enough for us to start praying five times a day if we are not praying. I know that many of us struggle with prayer on a daily basis. We are studying or we are working, we are at our jobs or we are outside with our family having fun or doing some activity. And so when it's prayer time, we just think that, oh, you know, I'll just pray later. No, this is the habit that we need to change. We need to stop taking it for granted that, oh, whenever we feel like we can pray. No, we have to understand that prayer comes first before anything else. Yes, I know sometimes it's hard to pray uh, the obligatory prayers, the fard and the sunnat. And it takes time if you're at a job or if you're working or studying. That's fine. If you can't pray the sunnat, pray fard. Pray the fard at least. Don't skip the fard. Yes, it's it's very, very, very extremely beneficial if you pray the sunnat prayers as well. But as I said, that if you think that you don't have time, you're outside, you're in a hurry, make sure that you at least pray the fard rakat. You don't skip it. As we, we all know that in Ramadan, during Ramadan, we all get, alhamdulillah, we all get consistent with our prayers. But we need to take this habit, not just in Ramadan, but in the other 11 months of the year as well. We have to understand that this prayer will elevate our Iman to a level that we can't even imagine. And so, brothers and sisters, we owe it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to pray five times a day and not skip them just because we're busy with worldly matters. As I said, that we are all living over here on a temporary basis. And we all know the uh, story that how the prayer became five times from 50 times a day. So imagine what if it was 50? But no, it's not 50. Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him went back to Allah again and again and again until it came, came down to five times a day. And let's be honest with each other, it doesn't take more than one hour or one and a half hour in total for all the prayers. And that's nothing. Out of 24 hours in a day, that's nothing. We waste one hour, two hours, three hours on our phones, on uh, watching a movie or watching something on social media or anything. Something which is not even comparable in terms of importance to five daily prayers. So, brothers and sisters, let's change this Ramadan. Let's form this habit of praying five times a day. Let's be consistent with it. You and me, all of us, let's be consistent with it. Let's promise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we will not only be consistent with prayer this Ramadan, but for the rest of our lives. May Allah help us and make it easy for us to be consistent with five daily prayers for the rest of our lives. Amen. And so this is it for the second episode of Ramadan. I hope you guys found it beneficial. And tomorrow, I'll see you guys, inshallah, with another video. 
Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.